beautiful friends. Thanks so much for joining me today. We are in Tahiti and it is quite warm here. We're going to start this practice laying on our backs. You can go ahead and hug those knees in. Giving yourself the biggest hug you've given yourself all week. And just coming here, connecting with the breath connecting with yourself, really relishing in this time. I'm going to allow that left leg to drop on down and hug this right knee in. Open it up to the side and then we're going to extend that foot coming in for a half happy baby here. Using that left hand on that left hip to keep it down and tapping back into the breath. Nice steady inhales and exhales. We're going to extend that right leg, maybe interlacing the hands behind the thigh, giving it a slight pull, and you can point that foot. And let's go ahead and Flex that foot towards your face here, tapping more into the hamstrings. And let's grab this leg and open it up fully to the right here. Really opening up through the hips, through the hamstrings. And let's go ahead and pull this leg across the body. Now we're not coming into a twist, so we're not coming into that outer hip on the left side. We're staying here. And we're feeling this all in the IT bands in this right leg. Coming back to the breath, forgetting about the pulls here. And as always, there should never be any shooting, stabbing, nor sharp pains. A slight level of discomfort is common, but nothing bad. We just come to our level of discomfort and let it go. So we're going to release that right leg and go ahead and hop on over to the left. So pulling this left knee in. And then we'll open it up, bent here. And then we'll extend that leg and come in for that half happy baby on this left side. Using that right hand on that right hip to make sure that it's not coming up off of the mat. Tapping back into the breath. And we're going to go ahead and extend that left leg with that pointed foot. And let's go ahead and flex that foot towards your face. Noticing totally different sensation there. And we're going to first open this leg up out to the side, towards the left. Breathing. I'm having a hard time with the bugs here in Tahiti, but we made it work. Now we're going to take this leg all the way across. Same as the other side. We're not coming into that outer right hip. We're just pulling this leg to feel the sensation in the outer IT bands. <laughs> you see me laughing here. I thought it was funny because, I mean, this is a serious stretch, but I'm prepping us for that hand to toe pose, and this is a wonderful way to practice it laying down, letting the body know what we're doing here. Okay, you can go ahead and hug that left knee back in, and go ahead and do a little rock and roll, if you like, up to... An all fours position. We're just taking our time. Once we get into our all fours, we're going to do a few rounds of our cat cow. So inhale, the belly drops, gaze goes up. And on the exhale, the spine rounds, gaze goes in between the feet. Go ahead and do this one or two more times just to warm that spine up. And we're going to jump right into wrist to warm up. So we can just start rocking forwards and backwards. And then we can turn these into circles. One way and then the other. 
point the fingers to the outer edges of the mat, little sway left or right. And then we'll take those fingers and we're going to point them towards us, tucking those toes and maybe taking that rock forwards and backwards should feel phenomenal. This is one of my favorite ways to warm up the wrist. And maybe sitting back on those tucked heels, really feeling into the forearms, breathing love and openness into them. Coming back through our all fours, coming into a plank here, just holding for just a second before we jump forward. Halfway lift, exhale fold. On an inhale, you can peel yourself up to standing, head and neck come last. And inhale, we can take those arms up and overhead, maybe taking a slight back bend here, and then coming back into our forward fold, half lift, ears away from the shoulders, plant the hands and step it back plank. You can lower down the knees and then the chest and the chin. We'll all roll through into cobra. Oh yeah, and we'll meet downward facing dog beautiful job once we get here we're just going to go and sweep that right leg up three leg dog roll it forward step in between the hands pivot on that back foot inhale arms up and overhead warrior one and we breathe frame the foot step back plank vinyasa here push forward and lower down into chaturanga push up up dog Everybody meets downward facing dog. Jumping into the other side, so left leg sweeps up, three leg dog. Step it forward, pivot on that back foot, rise up, warrior one, arms all the way up and overhead. Breathe. Really feeling into these hips here. And framing the foot, stepping it back, plank, and let's vinyasa. Push forward, lower down, push up. Everybody meets us back downward dog. Beautiful. Go ahead and take the feet to the outer edges of the mat. We're going to do some twists here. So taking that right hand to that left calf, or you can move it down to the ankle, whatever feels good here. Just looking under that left armpit and coming back to the breath. Beautiful right hand plants. So and now that left hand's coming to that right ankle or shin. And you are looking under that right arm. Once again, prepping us for that hand to toe pose. Beautiful hand plants. And we're gonna bend the knees here, trying to get that belly to touch the thighs. Beautiful stretch of the shoulders and toes here. And three leg dog, knee to elbow. If you want to try flying splits, you can extend that leg and lean forward and try to pick up the back foot. It, we're just playing here, having some fun, and coming back to plank. Of course, we're going to try for the other side. If you don't like the flying splits, you can just try the knee to elbow and just hold there. Otherwise, we're trying the flying splits on the other side. It's a challenging pose, and we're all coming back to plank. And then push back down dog. Beautiful job. Take a breath here. And we're going to sweep that right leg up, three leg dog. Step it forward, rise up, high lunge, arms over head. Beautiful. Open up that twist to the right here. And that right hand's gonna drop, left hand sweeps up. Exalted, twisted, warrior. Breathe. Hands back up, and then we'll bring them down to heart center and bring that knee to elbow, revolved here. Gaze is up towards the sky. If you wanna bring that left hand down to the mat, you can try it. Just seeing how that compression feels here. Tapping back into the breath, we're not holding it. And then we're going to frame this foot and step it back plank. And here's time for vinyasa. Or you could just go back to down dog. Choice is always yours. And other side, three leg dog. 
step it in between the hands, rise up, high lunge, arms up and overhead. Beautiful. And then we're going to open up this twist to the left this time. Beautiful job. Tapping back into that breath while we are twisted. Beautiful. Left hand's going to drop. Right hand sweeps up this time. Revolved, exalted warrior. And arms up and then back to heart center, revolving over, elbow to knee, gaze is up. And if you tried to open up on the other side, I challenge you to try to bring that right hand to the mat, left hand up. Beautiful stretchy pose here. And we're revolving, we're planting the hands, and we're stepping it back plank, and we're going to vinyasa. If you don't want a vinyasa, you can meet us in child's pose. Choice is yours here. We're just going to be here for a few breaths. So just tapping back into the breath. Nice, steady inhales and exhales here. Your own little love cave. And slowly we will peel up. We're going to sit on that left leg and we're going to bring the right foot on the outer edge of that left thigh. And then we're going to bring this left elbow to that right knee. Or you can just hug the knee with your left arm. Right hand behind us. Choice is yours. Beautiful twist here. Making sure we're tapping into the breath to get the benefit. Beautiful. Coming back around. Two piece fingers around that right big toe. Bent knee is beautiful. And maybe pump action here. Just pulling it in. And then we're going to take the left hand around that right foot somehow. Whatever feels good for you. And then that right hand's coming around. So as you see, we're back in this position that we're going to try to do standing up. Getting the body to notice what's going on might make it a bit easier when we do the full pose standing. Beautiful job, my friends. Coming back around, and of course we got another side to do. So this time the right leg's down, and that left foot's coming beside that right thigh. Now we're going to hook that right elbow to that left knee, or hug that left knee with the right hand. Choice is yours, and then that left hand is behind us. Once again, tapping back into that breath. Mm, getting that nice, beautiful digestive massage here. And gently we come back around and we're gonna grab the peace fingers of the left hand to that left big toe and maybe take that same little pumping action to stretch through that leg maybe and then we're going to grab that left foot with that right hand left hand goes behind us oh yeah beautiful this is such a beautiful pose and it is so stretchy like ultimate stretchy bent knee right here always most welcome Beautiful. Tapping into that breath. We're not losing control of it. Good job. Yes. Coming back around. We're going to take a vinyasa. If you don't want a vinyasa, you can meet us all back in downward facing dog. Choice can be yours. And then we're going to hop to the top of the mat. And we're going to find ragdoll here. Grabbing the opposite elbows, releasing through that low back, big bend in the knees. Maybe taking a little sway left to right. And we're going to peel up to standing. Oh, yes. And here we go we're going to start with pulling in that right knee taking those ankle rolls one way and then the other way 
and let's have some fun. Peace fingers, right big toe, left hand, left hip, big smile. If you want to try to revolve it, take that left hand to that right foot, take that right hand behind you, maybe try to take the gaze towards that right hand. Bent legs still make this the same pose. You can try to play with straightening, but it is not necessary. Like I said, ultimate stretch. Now we're going to stand up, and you've got it. We got a whole nother side. So we're going to hug that left knee in, and we're going to take those ankle rolls just like the other side. So roll it one way, and then we'll roll it the other way. Grabbing the peace fingers around that big toe, finding the balance. It's okay, your instructor's losing it too. Right hand, right hip. Once you feel good here, we're going to take that right hand to that left foot, left hand behind us like I said it's okay we're coming back into the pose if you can take your gaze towards that left hand be my guest if you're having trouble balancing maybe find a chair it's okay we're having fun here this is a very playful fun like I've said before ultimate stretch beautiful we're trying our hardest and that's what we've got our best is our best and we are going to be happy with that that's right and we're going to come for some knocking on heaven's door here. So let's go ahead, release through those legs, release through the hips, and oh, this is one of my favorites. Talk about it every time we do it, so I'm not gonna do that today. Inhale those arms up, and let's come on down for a yogi squat. We're just gonna take some circles with the neck. If you don't want, you just can find stillness here. Otherwise, using those elbows to push against the knees and take in those neck circles a little bit of a release here allowing the breath to come back down and we're coming in for boat pose so go ahead and let's come onto the booty and bring in those feet up coming back to the breath we're just gonna have an active hold here a little lower 30 seconds of a boat pose. Beautiful core work. You got this. Very nice job. We're gonna come onto our backs. We're coming in for some bicycles. These have been my favorite here lately. So shins are parallel, interlace the hands behind the neck. Elbows are wide open and 20. Here we go. You got this. This is a beautiful core workout. Trying to keep those elbows as open as possible. A smile on the face always helps us get through it, too. <laughs> Beautiful. Hug those knees in. Biggest hug you've given yourself. Arms out into a T or a cactus. And we're going to drop the legs over towards the right. The gaze can go towards the left. You want to bring that right hand to that left knee to deepen the twist. Be my guest. And we are tapping back into the breath here. Feeling the benefits of that massage in that belly. And slowly we peel up the center. And allow the legs to drop over towards the left. Maybe bring in that left hand to that right knee to deepen the stretch. Gaze goes towards the right. Tapping back into our breathing here. Feeling that belly up with air. And slowly releasing.
And on an inhale, we come back. We're gonna bring the feet to the outer edges of the mat, allowing the knees to drop in and bring in hand to heart and the other hand to the belly. Here's our Shavasana. If you'd like to take a normal splayed out space opening Shavasana, be my guest. Whichever Shavasana we choose, we're just choosing to tap back into the breath. Absorbing all that beautiful energy that you have created here today. Sending gratitude to yourself, to your surroundings, or maybe even to someone. And slowly hug these knees in, maybe giving your knees a big kiss. And we're gonna rock up and meet in a comfortable seated position. We're gonna inhale those arms up and overhead and exhale them down through heart center. Namaste, my friends. <laughs>